get at the nuts here. These nuts are okay. This third one is broke off. Got a shim here. That might still work. I can still use that. Yeah, it'll be fine. You got a second to hold something? Actually, disconnect the fog light first. I thought there was going to be a single connector on this side, but it doesn't look like there is. It's got to disconnect the uh, washer fluid as well. clamp it. Oh good. like on the V6, the bigger alignment holes for the camshafts have to be facing the middle. There's another mark on the inside of the pulley. crank as well so we can now take everything else off. The crankshaft lock is to the right of the engine mount so this is the engine mount here but it's it's below the mount. You'll see a little plug there let me zoom in if I can. So you take this plug out and you put in the locking tool. 
I'll show it again once it's in. Okay, crankshaft is now locked. There is a tool. Now you can continue with taking the belt off and putting it back on. Shaft is locked. And you can take an eight millimeter, apply pressure down onto the tensioner. There's a little grenade pinhole. So if you want to collapse the tensioner so that you can put the pin back in, and it's easier with a long ratchet. Um, it's a hydraulic tensioner, so. Take your time, the more you force it, the longer it takes to collapse. You just apply a little bit of pressure and then the uh, tensioner will start to move down. You'll eventually feel the belt getting loose. So you can see the belt is getting loose. Yeah, those holes, I don't think those holes are going to line up. I just take the belt off at this point. I think you saw the cam move a little bit. Okay, so we lock, we unlock the um, bolts here, and then we take the uh, pulleys off. Twenty-four.
So that's the tensioner. You can see this bolt hole is supposed to line up with this. So this guy obviously rotated. And that's the tensioner to push this on here. And then this pivots along here and it puts pressure on the belt. It doesn't look that old, this kit. Okay. Crankshaft is currently locked. You can see my white mark lines up with the red mark still. That was there from before. But, yeah. Just got to get some play into this belt so I can take it off. Okay, and from here, if you're doing the water pump, uh, replace the water pump. It's supposed to be an Allen head bolt, and uh, I think somebody forced a 12, 12 point in here. Supposed to be an Allen head bolt. If you're going to do the water pump through the thermostat, this is the thermostat housing here. It runs over to this hose. Now is the time to do it. Crankshaft seal, camshaft seals. Again, now is the time to do it. Okay, um, that's pretty much it. Sorry I left the uh, lock carrier in position. If you want, you can remove all of this. It gives you more room access. Uh, assemble and reverse and removal. Instructions are in the uh, description. Thanks for watching.